Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial with some shenanigans which you see right now on the screen. So basically an introduction into cutscenes. So we have sequences which are a pretty cool tool and that stuff is allowing us to make super super quickly and easily an animation like this in a few steps which is amazing. So I love the feature. So basically I'm just pressing one button and boom then those bars are coming up and down. So what do we need for that? Not too much. Basically a sequence, a sprite and an object. So let's kill all of them and let's recreate all that stuff. So here once again I'm Wannabindi. Hello. So if you like that stuff subscribe. That would be sweet. So we have the little sprite. Doesn't really matter what kind of size it is because we're gonna resize it anyway. So here we are pretty much done. Then the next thing we need our sequence. So the, for sequences, well, short, quick introduction, so a quick and dirty one. Here you have a canvas and then this is where your animation is happening. And then at the bottom you have the dope sheep and the track panel, which I'm gonna go quickly into as well. So basically here, as you can see, now you have your things in there. So basically like the assets on your asset browser. And then here you have a timeline. For now it is 60 seconds. Let's ramp it up to 240. And as you can see now, this has significantly increased. And what do we want to do? We just stretch this dude here up and make him bigger, bigger. Come on, come on, do it. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Why is this not working correctly? Not sure why this is not grabbing sometimes, it doesn't really matter. So basically we're getting this guy here, copy paste him, place it at the bottom and for now nothing has happened but because that thing is flagged as automatically recording, once we change our time let's say for 90 frames, so one and a half seconds, so uh, one frame or one second is 60 frames, so basically here, now we move it up and as you can see, uh -huh, we have kind of an animation. If you hold the shift button, then it will uh, move it accordingly to, to uh, let's say those lines. If not, well, you can freely move it. And for example, now we move that up, boom. And then this one, we move down, something like this. Now we can actually check it out. And we got our animation ready. And at this point, whoosh, it is gone. And now the last thing what we need, because hey, uh, we actually would want to use it. We call it objects. Uh, I don't know, call it cuts. And then let's say we press a button and then boom, we activate our, for example, space, our sequence. So we just say layer sequence and then create. For that, we need just a few parameters. First of all, the layer on which we want to put it uh, here, our default instances layer then the position, let's go for zero, zero, and then, well, this sequence which we want to use. And now that thing would be started at the zero, zero position, which is top left, but that thing has an alignment point. So this dude we need to drag top left. For example, if you want to change this, uh, not manually, but with numbers, which is definitely more precise, you would go in here. And, and then the sequence will start from the same point as 00, zero which we defined here. And for example, now we started at three minutes, four minutes, and then nothing is happening, or is nothing happening, because we put, didn't put in our trigger happy object cut, which is starting the cutscene. Ay, ay, ay. So let's start it, and boom, we got our thing ready. And for example, just one thing, if you want to have your sequence, to be permanent, then you just drag it to the very end and then this thing will stick around, which has some downsides by the way, because if you delete the object, the thing will be still there. So let's say here and then this thing will stay forever and ever. And here I was a little bit sloppy as you can see, ay, 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 not correct. And tomorrow I will do this relative with cameras and I, ah, let's actually, I can, I can show you very, very quickly what I have in mind. Of course, this looks a little bit more uh, strange now. So let's go. What was the number? Six, eight, three, two, 
Uh, what was that? Uh, three, four. There we go. Different kind of properties. And now we have a zoom. Now we can actually do a little bit more advanced things. So you can check it out. And this, of course, looks much cooler. So this is a neat little effect. And of course, the same for here. Boom. Sweet. So see you around for the advanced version tomorrow. Have a good one. One up indeed.